I've been asked a couple of times about the workload of language life. So people have emailed and messaged me saying like, okay, I'm interested. What's the typical workload for people to get the most of this? How, you know, am I going to make the most of this? Am I going to make it worth it? So I want to talk to you today about how you can really make language life worth it. First up then, take in the self-study library. So obviously <laughs> that is there. This is like the core of the program. Everything that you need to know about language learning is in that self-study library. And this, I'm, I'm not exaggerating when multiple people have said to me after working through this library, like, you need to write a book <laughs> because everything here has been so helpful. So this is everything that you need there in one place. So first up, you can start with your roadmap. It's three months, six months or 12 months. You get to decide how quickly you want to take everything in. And then there are a few things as well to make your experience with the self-study library a lot easier. So all of the video lessons were freshly recorded in 2024 and they were adjusted as well to be shorter, kind of more bite-sized lessons. So things are just just really easy to consume whether that's you know you want to just do one quick lesson a day or you want to binge watch a whole section like that's you know you can choose how you do that as well as that you have subtitles you have two times speed and you have transcripts for every lesson as well so if you prefer to like you know download and print those transcripts and take those off maybe you know on your commute and have them to read instead you can do that and those subtitles it's not just english there's typically 11 languages but at least six languages so extra bit of language practice there as well the second way to make language life worth it is to download the workbooks so the video lessons obviously great <laughs> but the workbooks are where you take what you learn in those video lessons and really put it into your own space and take action on all of that so they're very coherent right the videos and the workbooks are like twins shall we say they are the same one and the same and the workbook is where you have the moment to pause throughout those videos and then really think about everything that you've just learned and put it into an action point for you so as well as being very easy to edit and and, and um you know answer your questions on online on desktop or on mobile you can also download and print these as well so again you can have these printed off and you can be writing physically if you prefer to do that so again lots of flexibility with how to do this so highly recommend that you don't just watch the videos but you also download the workbooks and you're really going to then make the most of the self-study library as a whole next up ask unlimited questions so the way that questions get answered in language life is with our question bank which is our private podcast feed and you can ask unlimited questions genuinely unlimited so anytime something comes up whether it is general like how can i best learn vocabulary or whether it is something very specific like what resource should i use to focus on norwegian pronunciation whatever it is I will answer you on the question bank. So this is a chance for the language specificness to come in if that's something that you have questions about. I spoke recently with Leora, who's Inside Language Life, and this very clearly from our conversation is absolutely her favorite bit of the whole program. Book all of your one-on-one -on -one time. So throughout the self-study library, at the end of each chapter, that's 12 chances to book in for a one-on-one -on -one check in with me. As well as that, you get extra one-on-one -on -one time when you complete milestones in the program so there are all these opportunities where we can have this one-on-one -on -one time and it's really really valuable because I know there are some things that maybe you don't want to ask on the private podcast feed some things you just want to run by me you know that feel a bit more personal or a bit more private that's what the one-on-one -on -one time is there for so you're not left out there on your own like to just do the self-study bit like you have the support from me so I highly recommend if you want to make language life worth it book in all of that one-on-one -on -one time this is also where the personalization really comes in you know this is not a one-size-fits-all cookie cutter style thing this is a program that is designed to be personalized for you and so the one-on-one -on -one time is a huge part of that and finally use the prompts so every single week you get a brand new set of seven 
prompts that are all different whether it's image video we have lucky dip prompts which are really really fun just different every single week and you also get access to promptly so one of those prompts is expanded with suggestions with a video walkthrough so you're never going to be stuck you're never going to be bored in terms of what do i do next in my languages how do i learn <laughs> how do i practice you're always going to have something to do the biggest gap I see for language learners is practice. This is the thing that is so often missing. And it's not like people don't know this. People know, they think, okay, I need to speak more. I need to uh, read more, listen more, write more. I need more practice. We know this, but what's missing is knowing what to actually do rather than just do more, right? That's so vague and quite unhelpful because then what happens is we just think, okay, I need to do more. I'm just going to cram more, 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 more. But we're not being very strategic in that. We just end up acquiring or attempting to acquire the language and it's sort of hoping that it will seep in and it doesn't always work that way. And if practice doesn't get boiled down to more, it ends up just being very repetitive, very monotonous. Think grammar drills, think of vocab list from school where it is just listen what do they say look say cover write repeat that lot of doom, 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 very drill based oh it's tedious and so we don't want to practice but with prompts practice becomes fun again because with prompts you inspire yourself that's the great thing about prompts and that's why the prompts in language life are so like open like everything becomes a prompt. Once you get used to this process in language life of using these prompts, you'll then be able to go out after you've spent your time in language life to find inspiration anywhere. And you'll be able to speak and write about anything that is interesting to you when you need it without resorting to that monotonous kind of hello my name is Lindsay and I live in England style <laughs> that is so the default and so that's where prompts really come in they just make practice fun again so now you know how to make language life worth it what are you waiting for come on in join us inside language life you've got everything you need to learn languages better and to become fluent on demand in any language that you need, any language that you want, and to then have that skill set to repeat again and again and again as and when you need it. So you can just whip it out, learn a language when you need on the go. It's so, so useful. Oh, I'm just very, very excited to get started with you. If you are ready to join, you can do so at the link in the description. It's lindsaydoeslanguages.com forward slash L L. And yeah, I'll see you on the inside. If you do have any questions before joining, you can email me lindsay at doeslanguages.com and I will speak to you very soon. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, share, comment, follow, anything that you do that helps to spread the word is absolutely appreciated. And thank you very much. All right, I will speak to you very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.